Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your weekly reading. So this is going to run roughly from August 27th all the way until September 2nd. So the first five cards um, denotes your love life, love relationships. And the second five cards deals with other areas of your life, okay? Um, first of all, you've got two aces. And I see the energy of you trying to break through, trying to make a decision. Um, contingent upon these aces like I feel a lot of inner conflict coming in as a result of you not being able to align your mind with your heart and then as a result of that you're not able to make a decision when an air sign is is caught between you know what their heart wants and what their mind their head is telling them rationally it, it feels almost as if you're out of alignment with your intuition and so what i feel needs to happen in general is for you to make up your mind okay so there is a slight topsy-turvy energy it's fun it's a, a, a dynamic it's very very passionate but i feel like there's a lot of fear as a result of making this decision so let me talk about this this is pretty much being stuck in a between a rock and a hard place on the one hand rationally I, I should do this the physical evidence is telling you that maybe the other person you know doesn't really like me or maybe the other person um, wants something from me that I can't give Maybe they're not really seeing me for who I am, or maybe I'm not seeing them for who they are. So there is this overall sense of like, can I trust the other person? Um, can I talk to them about this? Will they be open and receptive? And then on the other hand, I see you very, very passionate about another person, okay? So it could be two individuals, one that that you know that you have already established that trust with and then another person that you're very very sexually physically attracted to or the physical evidence it could be the same person because it's wedged in between it could be a fire sign somebody with a very dynamic fire energy but they're wedged in between so their mind is telling them one thing their heart is telling them another and I feel like if this is you Gemini you're gonna be compelled to kind of leave your mind, leave the, 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 the talks, the conversations, the thoughts, leave it in the past and you're going to be compelled to make this decision from more with your heart. And I feel like, you know, your heart will not steer you wrong. Your heart will tell you what you want. And there are implications to that. There are, you know, ramifications to making decisions from the heart space. But the heart is also very much in alignment with your intuition as well. So it's time to stop ruminating and to take action, okay? Um, I'm feeling this is the person that you're interested in, okay? So we also have as well a fire sign. So let me talk about this person first. The King of Wands. The King of Wands is all about responsibilities, fatherhood, motherhood, family unit, family obligations, keeping the family unit together. Um, so even if there are issues when it comes to, you know, the marriage, the communication, um, like no longer feeling passionate in our marriage, no longer feeling good about staying in a marriage, but we do it because of that sheer sense of family obligation and that sheer sense of wanting to give the best to our kids, not wanting our kids to grow up in a broken home, and knowing as well, coming from a childhood where mom and dad might have been separated or divorced, and you didn't get that emotional support, so you want to create that emotional support, that firm foundation and that structure for your children. So it's like you don't want your children to follow in your footsteps. You want them to be better. You want to give them everything and as a result of it many of you are very torn between should is it over is it over between us or do we you know stay together or do we branch out and look at other people for other options do we open up the relationship to invite other people in or should I just you know cut my losses and move on with this new passionate new start so for some of you who are dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, the energy that they exhibit is someone who's very carefree, 
they have a lot of things going on in their lives. They might be from a different culture, different ethnicity, different, you know, uh, linguistic background. The world is all about uh, worldly people, people that might be outside of your geographical location, people that are different from you. They're exotic. They're very novel. And uh, they're new, exciting, very attractive. So I definitely feel there is intense, intense, intense attraction that you're feeling towards another person. But I'm also inclined to say I feel like there is third-party temptation coming from outside the relationship. And you're kind of swept off your feet. And you're kind of um, swept away by this passionate new resurgence within yourself it's almost like they're calling out to you to sometimes people come in our lives to tell us you know only as a messenger to tell us you know what are you missing in your relationship it's not so much that you should go for it but it's almost like a gentle reminder if you're feeling this way about me, then what's missing in your relationship and how can you revive that in your own relationship? So I definitely feel a separation here. You're dealing with somebody that you're very physically attracted to, but yet you're stuck in this, this new beginning, this new starts that you're going back and forth about what your heart wants what your heart wants, what your mind is telling you. And because of that, you're very confused. You're very conflicted. There's also an element here about, you know, trust. Is the other person dating other people? Are they going to date? You're dealing with someone who's very beautiful, very passionate, very beautiful. And so, of course, you know, you're going to be like, are they dating other people? Uh, are there people, other people giving them offers? And so that c can also stir up some insecurity within you. If I don't act on this, are they going to wait around for me? Are they going to, you know, move on? Are they going to uh, get into a relationship? So then I have to make a move. And then as soon as you talk yourself into making a move, I feel like there are other issues that creep up. Insecurity. Are they seeing other people? Or am I able to, you know, let go of my relationship so I can be with them? What are they really looking for? Are they looking for fun and excitement? Like, are they going to be here tomorrow and then here today and gone tomorrow? Because their energy is that they're kind of impatient and they don't really wait around. So I feel like there are just a lot of factors coming into play. And because of that, you're not able to make a decision. Okay. What is your advice for Geminis when it comes to this love situation? What should they do? So we have here the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is also indicating to me the timing is just not right right now. You might have things that you need to take care of first from your end. But also, the, t the Wheel of Fortune is like waiting for divine timing. Waiting for that sure sign. And the temperance card, both of these are, um, the temperance card is sort of like tempering, balancing your heart and your mind. And I know that it, it's, it's like, how do I do that? Well, you have to really think in a practical manner. This is a very passionate connection, but ultimately, what do I get out of it? And then, you know, do I sever the past relationship in order to be with this person? jump right in and ask questions later or do I have to get everything kind of like get things rolling dating friendship uh, getting to know the other person not jumping the gun and then asking them about you know their dreams their aspirations what are they hoping to achieve what do they want out of a relationship so I feel like taking things very very slowly and to ensure that the person is really single before you make a move or ensuring that the other person wants the same thing as you before you dive in too deep okay you're dealing with somebody who's very impatient as well so they might be tempting you to encourage you to make a move and you're not really sure like you're you it feels like it's happening too fast too strong and that can also be a little bit of um 
that can also be a little bit of a turnoff. So I know with Aquarius and um, Geminis in general, when somebody douses you with too much love and affection and, and they're a little bit coming on a little bit too strong, it can also uh, create like a this knee-jerk reaction where you feel like it's too easy, so you might not want it. This isn't really a good time to play hard to get, but I feel like you're conflicted about a decision and about a person. So getting to know that person, spending more time communicating with them, ra like using communication rather than just, um, you know, falling for that physical attraction, that's going to be the key here because you're comfortable in this realm. This is new uncharted territory for you as an air sign. So work with the resources that you know how to handle and then use that to strike up conversation or to really talk to the other person and to really kn get to know the other person's their dreams, their aspirations, where they're planning to be and why they're so impatient. Why are they pushing for this so hard? And I feel like that's going to be that's going to allow that major breakthrough for you guys, okay? In other areas of your life, I feel like love is going really well, but it's a little bit destabilizing and you're still conflicted, which in terms affect other areas of your life. As an air sign, one area um, that's problematic bleeds into another. So it would behoove you to kind of solve this first and get this squared away because I feel like other areas are being affected, okay? You're definitely wanting a new start. You're definitely kind of like bored, not feeling inspired, not feeling very passionate, not feeling like you're, all the work that you're putting in is going to pay out or is going to pan out. And then learning as well some new things in the work environment that you feel like I'm not really emotionally happy. So I definitely feel this sense of boredom, this sense of like revolving door, like uh, going through the motions, but not feeling inspired. And that might be why if you're you know unhappy with work or career or family or whatever, and you're feeling uninspired, this might also be why this situation is so tempting because it's a burst of new passion. It makes you feel alive. And so you might be falsely falling for this because other areas of your life are not, you know, especially dynamic. So the energy here is about, you know, finding new things. It doesn't have to be anything drastic, but it should be something that brings about passion into your own life, okay? Finding that thing that really stirs your passion, your it could be like a hobby, a pet even, a new way of doing things, a new routine, or even a career change, a new job. But I feel like many of you are contemplating, you're working, you've worked really hard at one job, you might have stayed there for a long time, and the timing, you know, with this recent uh, new moon, I believe it's a, full, it's a full moon, excuse me, it's a full moon in Pisces. And Pisces deals more with like, um, it's it's a water sign, but it's also like the last sign of the zodiac. So it deals more with like the destiny, the ideals, like what is it that really makes us happy so that we can work towards it. Um, the Neptunian energy associated with Pisces is very ethereal. It tells you like a, it gives you like a, a vague image of what it is that makes you happy. But it doesn't really lay down the path, the clear path for you to get where you are, to where you want to be, to achieve that image. So in that full moon energy, I feel like a lot of uh, emotions are stirred within you. And you're coming to the realization that, you know, I've worked really hard, but I just feel like it, it feels almost to me robotic coming to work, coming home dealing with the kids, dealing with the spouse, dealing with the parents, you know, like whatever it is that you're doing, it feels very monotonous, it feels very repetitive, and it feels very uh, uninspiring. So you're going to have to find new things or, or new ways of doing things so that it can stir your passion again. Uh, invest, you know, like, like whatever hobbies you have, 
get back into it. Invite more people into your home. Play the host or the hostess and allow people to come to you, okay? So if it's new love, I feel like there is a lot of passion here. And if you're bored with the other areas of your life, you might be so preoccupied with this new love and new passion that you let other areas of your life go on the wayside, like friends and family, uh, practical responsibilities, even work. So it's a good month for you to sort out and moderate your emotions. And it's a good week overall for you to, you know, really think about divine timing and think about as well, you know, the, the, the struggle between morality and passion. That's what I'm sensing here. Um, I hope the reading is helpful for you guys, Geminis, and I wish you all the best. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.